Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, damn it. I'm trying to currently trying to make some ackee and sawfish all while putting away the grocery mainly fruits that I bought yesterday when I did a little grocery store run I'm prepping some fruits that I'm gonna take with me tonight to work as like a little snack because I definitely need that at work in the nights or I feel like I'm absolutely starving all while I'm making some rice because of course the rice that was there last night when I was leaving for work, which was more than enough, not only was it used, but it was used in its entirety and none was prepared. So now I have to come home and make some more rice and I'm making some ackee and sawfish because I felt like eating that since this morning when I came home. But let me tell you how my first night being back, which was last night, looked like it really wiped me out and it was not a hard night. It was not a rough night at all. But the way how I've been sleeping from nine o'clock to almost 5 p.m., wild absolutely wild so right now it's 5 47 and obviously i've been up but so this is my soul fish i'm so glad that i'm no longer sick and i have my appetite back where i'm able to eat the things that i do feel like eating because the last two weeks really were a struggle for me so like I said, I'm making some ackee and sawfish and some white rice. I took this mango out because I said that I was going to eat it, but now I don't know. Maybe I'll slice it up and take it to work with me for later on. We'll see. But um, yeah, I'm so, so excited that I am feeling much better because last week was trying to take me out of the game. I'm telling you that. So um, we're well on our way. Uh... The kitchen is nice and organized in terms of like the, the grocery bags are empty. Oh my god, we have three laundry bags inside of the bedroom and I'm dreading going into those. But that's not going to be happening today. Anyways, because it just, it just can't. It's just impossible. So we're waiting for the rice to cook and then I'm going to start on the Aki and Zolfish right now. And then um, I'll probably come back to you guys when I'm done. When I'm done, I'm going to shower and relax because it's going to be like sometime after 6 by the time I'm done. Luckily, Aki and Sawfish is really quick. So by the time I'm done, it's going to be after 6. So I'm going to just shower, eat, relax for the rest of the evening until it's time for me to go to work. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Which is another like 4 hours because we leave here at around 10 o'clock um, to get there. But yeah, that's what's going on. Maybe I could take half of this guava. I really love guava, but the man literally was only able to get one. Sucks. But yeah, I'm gonna do a few things and I'll come back later or so or not.
Hi guys, so I'm done cooking. I ate. I'm gonna insert a little clip of like the food and stuff and show you guys so so good. Exactly how I expected it to taste in my head. So um I'm sitting at the table. It's currently 6:35, so I'm about to go shower and like just relax for the rest of the evening. I have some mangoes that I'm gonna take to work with me. Um sliced up. Still has the skin on because I couldn't be bothered to like peel it. And then I have this little bag here with strawberries, cherries, and a tangerine. Maybe I'll put another tangerine because I really do like tangerine. Oh, I don't have that many. No. Okay. Because I have an apple in my bag from last night and a banana in my bag from last night that I... Need banana? I can't remember eating the banana. Anyways, if anything... I'm gonna take these with me. The food that I that I brought with me um, last night, I did not eat it. So I ended up giving it to my coworker this morning when we're coming home. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just remember that I had food in my bag last night. She's like, girl, I'm starving. I'm like, you want it? She was like, yeah. But I didn't bring any for her <clears throat> because, um, you know, obviously last week I was sick. I did not cook anything until I tested negative because I just did not feel like that was smart. But, you know, me being sick i just figured she wouldn't have wanted any because i remember when i was sharing the food i'm like would she wanted some but then i'm like nah me because i i'm i was sick she wouldn't have wanted anything to do with the food and she was like girl you cooked it <laughs> it was cooked i would have eaten it but i didn't know so i'm like whatever <clears throat> but i'm basically done let me show you guys oh my god i have so many things here that i probably don't want y'all to see Anyways, this is these are my um my fruit baskets on the table. Not my benefiber for my, my my pooping issues that I'm that I'm having. But um yeah, those are my fruit baskets and they're so full and I love that they're so full because it's I love um fruits. So yeah, so for the week or for the next week I should have fruits to take with me to work every single night. So that's great. But um my battery saying that I have 19 minutes remaining. I just realized that I um, basically went through the motions of everything and I did not give you guys basically like a recap of what my first night back was like last night. It was pretty good. It was an easy night, a very smooth night, one that I felt like I needed coming back after being at home for 12 days. Um, there were enough of us there, we weren't working short or anything. So that was really, really good, but I'm not going to lie. This morning when I came home, I just felt like <clears throat> the shift completely wiped me out. And I couldn't understand why because it wasn't a hard shift. But I feel like it's just the fact that I hadn't been at work um, for almost two weeks. 12 days, yeah, two weeks. And just going straight back into it was just maybe a shock to the system or something. I don't really know. And so this morning when I came home, I slept from 9 a.m., to 5 p.m like 10 minutes before 5 p.m is when i woke up and um this morning i came home and i ate i showered and i just literally passed out and i didn't even expect to sleep that long i expected to wake up in like two hours which i did and i went to pee and i was back in the bed and just out for the count so now i've been up for a few hours and you know as you guys saw you i was in the kitchen making something to eat I'm basically just cleaning up the kitchen because yesterday after I had got the groceries, I didn't pack away everything because I was kind of scrambling. It was a little bit late and I wanted to just get everything together to um, get myself together for work. And so it was a bad night and it is my second night. I'm supposed to be off tomorrow and Sunday. This weekend is my weekend off, but I think I might go in tomorrow night just because I don't really know why exactly, honestly. I'm gonna bring some food with me tonight so maybe I stay over in the morning or I'm going to um um go in tomorrow night I don't really know which I feel like doing yet I bought a little pill container on Amazon like a small one to be able to take like my daily vitamins with me because I used to take them in like a Ziploc bag but then my bag started smelling like vitamins and I really just pill like pills and I hate that so I bought a little container to put them in. It's still downstairs. I don't feel like going down there right now because I'm about to go just chill in the bed for like the next hour or like 45 minutes until it's time for me to actually get up and like start getting myself together to go to work. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.